Hello everybody, good evening, welcome to Elizabeth Craft Designs. My name is David and tonight I'm going to be doing the live here at Elizabeth Craft Designs. And it's an exciting evening because it's the official introduction of the Remember Moments collection for the Art Channel Specials collection. And I've got loads and loads and loads of stuff to show you. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give people some time to get, come in. But before I forget, don't forget to like, share and comment to be able to win the $50 gift certificate. Because you want that with all the goodness and the yumminess that's going around at Elizabeth Craft Designs. You want that. And $50 is a lot. So, wow, lots of people already. <coughs> Too many to say hello to everybody. Hi, Susanna, Robin, Jose. Hi, Jose. Anita's there. Hi, Petra, Monique. Ingrid, hey, design team is coming in. Good to see you all. Hi, Ans. Thank you for liking, sharing and commenting, Ans. Leslie is here. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Welcome. Well, it's time, finally. I've been waiting for this day. Hello, Marie Claire. Good to see you. Hi, Joe. Hi, Clementine. So, yeah, I've been waiting for this day uh, quite a long time now. Um, it's... Uh, um, it's such a fun collection to play with. I'm going to show you all. I'm amazed by everything that the design team did. So, yeah. Hi, Marie Jose. Hi, Robin. Hi, Stephanie. So, I know I saw some of you already have the collection and are already playing with it. Love that. Love to see what everybody's doing with that. Um, for me, that's always like, uh, yeah, letting it go out in the wild. It's always a bit scary. Like, oh, what are you going to do with it? Um, I'm not on my side, so I think it must be your internet. I'm not standing still with my phone, so that's playing on the on the side here. Hey, Patricia. Hi, Vicky. Hello, everybody. If it's running on my side, then it's... Uh, I, I don't know what to do about that, guys. Hi, Greet. Hi, Jen. Good to see you. Right, lots of people coming in already. So, um, yeah. As I said before, don't forget to like, share and comment. And uh, today is the day I'm going to talk you through the whole new collection uh, in the Art Journal Specials collection. I'm just putting my mouse to the side. <laughs> oh, thank you, Susanna. Um, it is a, a fun collection and it's, it's a bit different than what we did before in the Art Journal Specials collection, but not that different. It is, you can still just use it for art journaling. And that's it. it it's a perfect fit with the previous releases. Uh, so you can mix and match and play and yeah, just make your heart sing and be happy. And one thing that is new is that it's called Remember Moments. And um, of course, we have the planner collection where that is all about memory keeping. Um, but sometimes you want a smaller booklet like a passport sized art journal to give away or to document a weekend away that you had with friends and and so that is fun as well uh, you can throw this in your purse take it with you so it's an addition to that so i think that is fun as well um, you're going to see lots of samples from the design team where they use everything and don't have a one single photo in it so you don't have to use photos in it so it'll all make sense when i go through it Hi, Ellen. Hi, Anita. I already said hi there, Anita. Uh, Samantha, Karen. Well, you know what? I'm going to switch the camera around and I'm going to see, um, take you through it step by step, and then I will go through all the samples. And that's a lot. I've got a lot. So there we go. I will take myself out so that the focus is on this beautiful set. So the first thing I want to show you is the stamp set. Thank you, Debbie. A stamp set CS360, wonky letters, and these are wonky letters. They're not the same, they're different, but similar, um, and that's how I designed them. So they are meant to yeah, sort of go into um, uh, be wonky, that's what it is. You can stamp them out, you can tear them apart. Uh, if you stamp them out, they look like this. Um, and you can just sort of tear them up like this and stick them onto your project. And then you can make sort of a ransom letter idea, stamp them out in different colors, really fun. 
Uh, I've got a box full already of different colors, um, ink the sides, or I saw that today, Jose, uh, she posted the wedding picture and she fussy cut all around them, which is also doable, I think. So that's fun about that set. So that is the CS360 wonky letters. And for the people in the US, uh, mainly these are now available on our website, but also in the EU. So if you want to buy them from the Elizabeth Craft Designs website, they are available now and they are available at your local store. So that is that stamp set. Then we've got, and I'm going out of order, so um, um, there's a reason for that. This is CS363 and that's passport stamps. Now, these are perfect stamps to create a background in your art journal, uh, whether it's with pictures or not. It's fantastic. Oh, thank you, Carol, that's nice. Um, nice little phrases that you can use in your journal, uh, but these stamped as a background, fantastic. That is the CS363, fantastic stamp set. I'm in love with that one. Um, then we've got the travel phrases. And travel phrases is, um, um, they are black here, but of course you can do them in any color. I've seen them in gold, I've seen them in red, orange, blue. Uh, you can emboss it, it's really nice. Um, and just some phrases that have to do with traveling. Stay at home, happy camper, magical place, uh, making memories, travel therapy. Well, you can read for yourself. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, Katrina. <laughs> so you can use this. And it, it was really fun because the other, I, there was one lady who commented earlier. Let me put myself back for one second. There was one lady that commented earlier and she said, you know what, this is a set that you need that you can use paper crafting white not just in your art journal but you can use it for anything whether it's for card making planners etc 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 um so yeah it's it's a fantastic collection i must say so there we go take this one out again um so that's a fantastic set just to make little sentiment strips uh in your journal so then we've got you know by now, I'm in, I love texture in my background. Um, hi, Andrea. The CS364 is the textures background. And that background is uh, absolutely gorgeous. You can use it in any color. You will see in samples, they've used it all different ways. Um, but yeah, it's really fun set and creating texture in your background. So yeah, that's the CS364. And it's better if you see it stamped, I think. I've got one here that I've just stamped out. Uh, this is in black, but imagine on this beautiful paper, which I will get to in a second, but on this beautiful paper, if you stamp that in a beige, it's, it's adding more to the background. Love that. Hello, and I'm from Norway. Hello, back to you. Then we've got the classic ATC stamps, which is a gorgeous little set. I'm so happy with this one. And that goes with, um, and then we already move into the dies. Let me get it. I'm missing one. That's interesting. Oh, I'm blind. I'm not missing one. It's here. Uh, that goes together with the classic ATC. And what is new with this collection? I'm not sure you can see it. It already says on the packaging, compatible with this stamp set. And on the stamp set, it says, compatible with the die set. There we go. Compatible with the die set. So um, I know a lot of questions were about that and we listened to you guys. So it's now way easier to see which goes with what. Uh, so this set goes together. This die cuts out this element and that creates, I've got a sample of that somewhere. Here it is. This. So this is an ADC card created with that set. Um, I've made an envelope with acetate in it, really fun. That envelope is in there as well. Here's another one I made, gorgeous, loving that. And of course that stamp, there were a lot of people asking for a new stamp because the other one was in a special and this one is not. So yeah, really, really cool. Um, and the envelope without a, a window in it. I just cut out this element to create the window. So that's a really fun set. Um, and they, they sort of go together. Uh, they're not married, but 
well, getting there, engaged. Let's put it that way. So that is, so that goes with 2161 Classic ATC. And there are nice little labels in there. There's a nice belly band in here, uh, scallop circles, loads of yummy stuff is in that set. And then last but not least, we've got this stamp set, which is called Around the World Stamp and Die Set. So when you buy this, you do not only get all these nice uh, stamps, but you get the matching dies to go with it in one set. So that is a really fun little set. And also you will see throughout the, the samples that I will show you. It is an amazing set and the design team went absolutely, well, I wouldn't say crazy, but hmm, berserk with it because it's uh, yeah they love they love it as well i hope you guys love it as much as we do so that is that set it's called csd361 gorgeous little set this is so that was all of the um stamps so now i'm going into the dice now you've already seen this one it's the atc one so i'm going to put that one to the side uh, i'm out of space here we go put it there then we've got the 2160, the romance set. The romance set has a, a base page in it, a gorgeous pocket with a doily, um, a nice with a tag with a jagged edge, some really nice decorative circles, some fun words, and if you cut that out, hi Anora, good to see you. Um, you see, this is that circle element. You see here, oops, that was for later. Here you see that gorgeous pocket and the tag in action. So this is all made with that, uh, with this collection, with this set, the Roman set, the 2160. Then we move on to this set, which is called Remember. Um, and what's new in this collection as well is that it says on the packaging fits in the Square XL art journal. If I go back to the Roman set, it says fits in the passport and Square XL art journal. Now this is a passport size art journal and it obviously fits in there. And this is the Square XL. And if you look, or did I take it out? Do I have any in here? No, but you will see in the samples that they mix and match. This set also fits in here, but it's also mentioned now onto the packaging. And I think that is a big, big plus. And there were a lot of people asking for that. So that clarifies a lot, I think. So what do you have in this set? set. Film strips uh, or DF frames, whatever you want to call it, a closed pocket. So remember in the romance set, we had a, an open pocket. This is a closed pocket with all sorts of fun elements and this little plane. Look, this, I love that little plane. Um, I've already made a little fleet, but look, when you assemble it, it looks like so much fun. They're taking off together. This could be a base for a page, actually. Hmm. Come to think of it, but look at how fun these little planes are. So yeah, um, easy to assemble. There are uh, lines in there to show you where to put the elements. So that's that. And I've got this little camera here. Look at him, he's cute. And he, uh, that's this one that works really well as well. So, thanks Michelle. Hi Michelle, by the way. <laughs> um, so that's that Excel page included as well. And then we're moving into something really, really new. Um, and that took some doing. We went back and forth with, uh, with the factory before we were happy, but we were happy and they were in just in time. And that is this. Journal sleeves and journal sleeves fillers. Now these fillers fit in the journal sleeves perfectly. You will see that in a second. But what are these intended for? That is if you want more pictures in your art journal, you can do that. Let me show you. That is the simplest way, I think. Um, here's the closed pocket, by the way, from that, that set that I just showed, and here as well. Turn that one into a tag. I'm just flicking through till I am with my pictures. There we go. So here you see, it, it really fits in, in the sleeves 
perfectly and it's got a nice matte layer and another uh, layer, another die that I used to cut my photo out of. And then on the back uh, I've used the stamp to make it a journal spot. Here's another picture and on the back I just made a little sort of collage love it thingy. I'll get to this in a second. So yeah you can really build up your journal. Here's another one. Still have to do the back. But yeah you can really make fun little journal and as I said this goes with anything. I've, I've seen these you can use these kind of things in scrapbooking. You can use them in, in your planners of course. Anywhere you can use this and this set is gorgeous because it's, yeah it, it works together. So how does it work? Let me quickly show you. Um, I just wanted to do a little bit of demo but not much <laughs> because I've got lots to show you but I just wanted to show you how perfectly convenient these things are. Um, when you want to make a pocket thingy flip flap. We all love the flips and flaps don't we? These you can use for anything. Anything. And I think also the and you will see that in the samples from the design team that I will show you in a second. Wow. You can use them as journal elements in your art journals. So I've got the matte layer on there now. I'm going to uh, put the photo on there now. And then what you can do is you can just take a tiny bit of wax. I will put that on my... I will just go around the black a bit just to give that bit of a vintage look. Now while I'm doing that I'm going to tell you I was uh, amazed by something Jennifer Ritchie showed us today. She um, worked on the sleeves with alcohol inked. I'm definitely going to try that because it looked fantastic. It really looked like old vintage. Yeah. So there you go. Now this photo is sideways and for some reason in my brain and I'm just not saying it's anyone's fault. I'm just, just saying it's me. Uh, it's my pea brain that doesn't understand things sometimes. Uh, but this was a aha moment for me. I was in my head, I had to stick it down like this and it goes up and down. But you can also do it like that, David. No worries. So think about the angle or the direction and I'm going to slide this one in. And you see it's a perfect fit. So these sleeve fillers, they go together with these little uh, journal sleeves perfectly. So then you take your journal and I'm just going to stick it somewhere. I'm not going to be too bothered. Um, I want that to be right here. So you peel off that backing. It's a fun one, isn't it? You, it's a good thing you don't see what's on the table. <laughs> um, you put this one just on there. Give that a good press because it's a tiny little strip and that has to adhere. And then the best piece of advice I can give you is fold it sort of press that down, take your nail and fold, make a sharp fold in that plastic thingy in the sleeve, David, not thingy. And that way it just flaps easier without constantly pulling on that adhesive. Yes, you can do uh, here and then on the back you can repeat it. It still fits in there. No problem. So next I'm going to, I don't need glue, because these strips are also in your set. If you look at the die set, these little strips, they look like torn paper or torn washi. Um, you can use those to cover up your plastic strip. Now because I, I didn't like the plastic strip so I thought I need something to cover up. So that is what those are for and you'll see it looks really nice and it makes it a bit more sturdy as well when they're in there. So just gonna put that on the edge. Make sure you don't close the opening. And there we go. Now that's perfectly on there and you've got a flap that's going to go that way. 
How fun is that? So you can see, you can easily build up a complete journal. There are three layers on this one as well with your pictures uh, and that's what I'm going to do. So that is the Journal Sleeve Fillers 12163 combined with our new, brand new journal sleeves, the RAJS02, because the one we had before was for the ADCs. These are for the, the journals. So that's that. Let me put that to the side because we're not done yet. And I've got loads more to show you. So here we've got journal stencils. Four already. Wow. That's flying. And you've already seen a bit. You will see more of that in a, in a second. Uh, very nice open. So you can really ink through it or use paste or go crazy. Yeah, it's fun. Then we've got a ray of sunshine and another one. Uh, this one I used here somewhere. If I can find it that quickly. Um, of course I can't find it now. It's in the background somewhere. And it goes to show here you see that square one. Um, just take. Oh, of course I can't find it. It's gorgeous. And this one I've got here. Oh, here. Let me show you. This is the journal that Rihanna made. There's that one. And here is that sun ray. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Nice, 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 nice. Um, so, yeah, those are just two examples of, of what you can do with these stencils. Um, then we've got dots. I love dots, small dots, big dots. These are wonky. They're not perfectly circles because, well, I don't, didn't want that. And then last but not least, we've got these journal words. Cool, journal, travel, stories, relay, relax, relay. That's what you get when you put your finger there. Then it says relay. Relax today, enjoy, and happy. And both ladies and more, but yeah, I've got two, these two here now, uh, put that onto there journals. Fun way of using them. So that's journal stencils for the S053. And then last but not least, paper. Um, there's a new paper pack for me coming out in, with this release. And that is this one. And that is called Coffee Dyed Papers. It just fits in my screen. Um, it's coffee dyed papers and I actually coffee dyed these myself. So I went, uh, I had different kind of papers. I did watercolor paper, mixed media paper and soft finish cardstock. And I created different papers and that funny enough with the, the, the coffee, it reacted in a different way. So that's where the color difference comes from. It is really intended as a background paper. Um, and that is really funny. Friday, I will be live again and I will be playing with this and, and doing a demo, but I will be making uh, something fun with lots of color, etc. I'll show you that, yeah, this is really background paper. And once you start building on top of it, it's fantastic. I love it. It's a uh, nice vintage feel, grungy feel, but yeah, it's, it's really fun. So let's quickly go through that. There's 12 uh, double-sided sheets with 12 designs on there. So. There we go. This is one and that's on the background. So you can still use that to create pockets, etc. Really, really fun. These lines you see, somebody asked me that the other day. Um, these lines are from the rack in the oven because I baked the paper. Uh, so this is from my rack that's in the oven. Um, beautiful. And I've added some light text some in the background. This is not readable, so don't fuss about it when it's the other way around. It's it's really intended for texture. Um, is I love the coffee stains. Look at that. Mm. Gorgeous. Love it. So here's another one, but lighter, but with the same lines from the drying rack. Um, here's more fun little stains and a bit of script in the background. So yeah, I'm, I'm loving this paper and it's uh, these are really fun. There's an ADC special, uh, not special. There's an ADC set in this 
collection. And these cards are slightly bigger than an ATC format. So what you can do, you can use your ATC card and cut this out. Um, like, let me see if I, well, this is, I use the matte layer from the ATC card and also cut this out. So in, instantly you've got a decorated background, ink the edges and yeah, stick your stuff on top of it and you're done. Um, so yeah, that is really fun as well to, uh, to use all these different cards or you cut them out and use them as journal cards. So really fun. So there are two sheets of those. Then here at the bottom, I kept four neutral ones. And these are, let me shift it up, there we go. Um, also coffee dye papers, but just smaller. So you get the smaller pattern, etc., which is also really cool to use as basis for your ADC cards, uh, just saying. Um, so yeah, really fun things there. And then there's one more page. On the back we've got colors, of course, different once again. And this is the last one, which is the same as the cover gorgeous one and then it will repeat itself so from here on it repeats itself um, because this is so neutral I just thought well nobody will uh, mind having doubles of these gorgeous papers so that is the coffee dyed paper pack and that concludes my complete collection the remember moments collection so really really fun collection I think really versatile, you can use it for anything. Um, and yeah, that is uh, uh, the new collection. I'm proud of it, I hope you love it as much as we do. Um, so now, you will see the design team loved it because, um, well, these two are out now, so I will start with those. Let me start with, let me see, I hope there's a name in there. Um, yep, I think this is, yeah. Okay, this one is by Janet. I just showed you this journal, but look at close. I will zoom in a bit and I will leave them on the, there we go. I think you can see that better now. Gorgeous what she did here, Janet. Well done. So we've got a fantastic, grungy, mixed media style journal. And here you can see that the passport size fits in the XL um, perfectly. So these are all nicely stitched together. There's a fold out thing here. This is made of uh, sort of linen. Oh, look at these stamps in the background. I am already, wow, look. This is the fallout piece, uh, but you can also use that fallout piece with that center die of the, oh, and here is also Coffee, uh, I think this is also alcohol ink on acetate. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Janet. Gorgeous. So that's that. Um, journal card, great idea. Elements, so it, you see it's an ATC set, but these elements just mix and match everywhere. Gorgeous, this, this is with embossing powder, different colors. And here you see the wonky letters used in a background way and embossed. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is with an embossing glaze. So, gorgeous. Um, this is a homemade sleeve, but she used the tag over here. Here you see you don't have to use the uh, My brain has gone dead, sorry. Sorry. The sleeve inserts, oh, David. Uh, the sleeve inserts, you don't have to use them only for photos. You can use them for art journaling, etc. So that's that. Um, nice belly band. Um, yeah, it's all, I really love it. Yummy and grungy and pockets and use the st stencils everywhere. And you see the stamps in the background here. So. These stamps and stencils are perfect to create backgrounds in your art journals, in your junk journals, in your planners, on your cards, whatever you want to use it for. So these are the swirls that are actually in the filler set. Look at how gorgeous that is. The stencil. So yeah, 
This is really, really well done. This was a letter to Els. <laughs> and there's another thing in the pocket that she made here in the back. So gorgeous. Wow. Already the first one blew me out of the park. Well done, Janet. Yeah, no, no problem, Janet. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Fantastic. Um, then let's move to some loose bits and bobs that I have. And then I will continue with the journals. Look at that. They've been so busy. The team has been busy. This one I think is from Martina. So yeah, it's a nice little envelope with an ADC card in it. But you just, these little envelopes are so handy. You can use them for the ADC cards. You can use them, uh, stick them down in your journals. Anything goes. So that's that one. This one is from Jennifer Ritchie. Love this, Jen. So this is acetate on top of acetate, I think. Gorgeous. Look at the pocket. I'm in love with those pockets. They are fantastic. Beautiful work. Here you see, ooh, look at that. That's a square stencil with crackle paste. Great, 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 great. Here's another one. This one is from, doesn't say it, sorry. This is, again, an insert you can use for whatever you want to use it. There's more in there. Ooh, I think this is Ingrid. <laughs> I think I saw Ingrid make all these fun little elements. Look at that. All these stamps just stamped and cut out and you can use them in, ready to go. So this is a fun little, um, fun little envelope where you can store your ephemerae. Well done, Ingrid. This one is made by Ingrid. I know that. Look at that. She made a sort of a travel journal, junk journal idea, using all the dies and stamps, and so much fun. So much fun. There's not to, no such thing as too many pockets, right? Hi, Dorothy. So, look at that nice pocket. So this goes it, it, perfect for junk journaling as well. Here's that closed pocket with a see-through window. Look at that. How smart. I did not think of that. But I will steal your idea, Ingrid. <laughs> Another pocket. So yeah, really, 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 really fun envelope or travel, how do you call that? Folder. That was the word I was looking for. This one is by Jennifer, I think. Oh no, it's Ingrid as well. Ingrid as well. Uh, she fussy cut around the other side. Wow. Turned that into a pocket with ADC cards in it. Just really fun. And on the inside, used decorative stamping in the background. Very subtle stamping here in the background, but I love that. The fact that you can, it's there, um, and it's got several layers. It's got the stencil. I'm not sure if I come in, you see? You've got the stencil, you've got the stamps, and it all works together nicely. Nice and crunchy edge. Some splattering on there. Love that. And here are the circles with the acetate. Now these circles, they fit onto your artist trading coins as well. They are two and a half inch. So that is that one. Then we've got some ADC cards ready to go into a journal, all using the collection. So Really nice to see. Another fun little envelope. I can never close this as neat as it is. <laughs> Look see-through with that balloon behind it. Love it. Love it. Then we have one that is uh, not officially in my design team. Um, she's not even a guest designer, but we have a guest design team member this month. I will get to her in a minute. Uh, but uh, that's Susan. And <laughs> Uh, 
uh, Susu's friend was over and she uh, is also in one of our design teams, in uh, the design team from Annette Green. So it was safe of her to show my collection to her and uh, she played with it there and then. Look at that. How much fun. So Jacqueline, well done. Gorgeous page. Look at that. Also on acetate, colored in. So that was just... Uh, she was just playing. And that's what it's all about, right? Just play and have fun. So, then, I know Jennifer posted these today, but look at these photo frames. And she made it so it can stand. And they look like real wood. But it stands like that. Gorgeous. Look at that. So this is stamped out of paper, stacked together, and then uh, put some swirls on. And here she put the different swirls on the paper, glued it down, and then went around it with uh, wax. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Another fun ADC card with that balloon on it. Uh, this was Yildiz. Yildiz, her dog, did something that she shouldn't do. Oh, well, it looks like a ball, but it's a cactus. Don't bite that. That hurts. Um, but he was busted. Really fun idea, Yildiz. And this is um, the passport size um, set, and she just layered that twice. So, yeah, loving that as well. Then we've got a fun little journal here, which is by Jennifer as well. So I'm really happy that the, the samples from the US came in because they were, they, they took some time and they had a long journey. Let me tell you that. Um, but yeah, this is a journal signature made by Jennifer. And look, this is the stenciled words with paste, black paste. I love that I mentioned on that photo camera, and a little string on there. Loving this. Cool little journal element. And again, as I said, you don't have to use them uh, only as uh, insert uh, sleeves, but you can use them for anything in your journals, etc. Fun bit of stamping here. Pocket. You can put in any way, anywhere. Stamped on tape with alcohol ink, I assume. Gorgeous. So yeah, this is a fun little journal, ready to fill up and with all sorts of fun little things. Love it. Well done, ladies. I'm really blown away. Can I have some love for the design team? Because they, they did an amazing job. Absolutely amazing. Hey, Rihanna. Right. Um, let's go to Rihanna's. This is Rihanna's journal. And first things first, let's look at this little dangle she made with all the stamps from the collection. Loving that. I might steal this off if it goes off, Rihanna. No? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Then I won't steal it. <laughs> no, I will not steal it anyway. Look at that. Rice paper on the front, some glitter. Love my gold glitter. And these are the sleeve fillers again but used as a layer on top of the page. Turn this corner into a pocket and Rihanna really, st everywhere you look, there are stamps. Look at that little ADC card, but then used as a journal card, also with black paste. Love that stamp here. Absolutely gorgeous. All sorts of pockets. Love this. Just ripped off a piece, turned that into a pocket. Sometimes we overthink, right? So this is a great way to do it. Smaller page made, ripped off from the edges, and it fits. Uh, it's just a fun element. In the center of your signature, it works really well. All these little stamps, some elements from papers, from Esther, postage stamps, really fun. And here, pages with that journal sleeve fillers. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Nice little pocket. Love this element. 
black tag. Well done, well done, well done. I don't have enough eyes to look everywhere. It's so completely full. And it's layer upon layer. Look, you've got your doily there. Then you've got another card layer. Um, ATC coin in there. The little plane. Yeah. And the little envelope in the back. Loving this, Rihanna. Loving this. So then we've got Yildiz. Yildiz made a passport size this time. Happy journal stories, the dotted um, stencil on there. And we know Yildiz, I know it's Yildiz because Yildiz always uses nice and bright colors. So it's completely different than the vintage uh, look. And that's the fun bit. If you look at this paper, this is what I mean. If you ink it up with different colors, you will get a different kind of journal. So all sorts of possibilities. Look at that cute little doggy in the film strip. Smart doing that. Beautiful little envelope, by the way. Oh, this is smart, using it like that. Oh, and the envelope from my first collection. Love that. It's closed. Nice. Well, it says for David, right? You saw it. So I'm keeping this. It's going to go in my A to C journal. There. <laughs> um, there we go. That's that one. We saw that. Look, more pink, completely different. Same background paper. Love that. Beautiful work. Pocket here. And then she's ready to finish it off when I send it back to her. Gorgeous work. Love it. Here we've got another one from the States. I know that. This is Jennifer as well. Jennifer really worked hard. Blimey. Yeah, we, all the design team did, but hey, look at that. Um, gorgeous cover. Look at that. It's embossed with an embossing folder. Um, Jennifer was the one who came up with that idea of doing that. Building it up. Nice texture. I always have to feel it. I don't know why. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice frame. Again, the same she did with that photo frame we saw earlier. Here Jennifer used it to create an, a journal element. So not for pictures, but just as a journal element. Really fun as well. Um, I think I put it in the wrong way, Jen. Sorry. Let me correct that. Because I put that in. Dun, 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 dun. That's one thing to think about. There we go. That's how it should go in. That when you put it in or build up your cards, remember that when you flip it and open to the other side, come on, go in. There we go. That this has to be in the same, in the right direction. So think about it when you build it up and put it in. This is gorgeous. Embossed that strip. Love that silver embossing powder. Here's another nice little thingy that I've also put in the wrong way around, but I will fix that later. Look at that see-through element there in a the pocket. Really cute. There's that stencil in all its glory. There's that frame again. And then it repeats, but in different colors with different sayings. Gorgeous work. Look at that. So really fun art journal elements as well, these sleeves. Not just for photos, but if you want to use photos, they're perfect for that. Let me see who we have here. But that was gorgeous, Jen. This is from Rihanna. Um, very distinctive style, by the way. I start to recognize it now. Rihanna joined our team at the beginning of this year. And she's fantastic as well. Look at that. Is this glitter embossing powder? I would think so. Oh, that's happened to me, as you can see, uh, Femke. It's happened to me. That's why I can tell you. Let me make the mistakes and then you guys do it the right way. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 
nice little pocket and this is again she used the sleeve fillers for that so these sleeve fillers are so so versatile look at this this puff stuff love that nice little pocket so somebody was asking do we have samples with the closed pockets well here we go the sleeve but then stitched this opens wow look at that oh my this is absolutely stunning more pockets more i don't know where it stops it says in dutch this page is not finished yet room for pictures well i think this is pretty darn finished wow absolutely gorgeous rihanna i'm loving it let me close this up before i do anything wrong with it so that's that one okay we're getting there we're getting there but uh, yeah isn't it katie i'm I, when i'm looking at it now i would buy it i already have it but i would buy it uh let me see i think this one is darius yep i know that because of the gray cat that's in there i did something really smart let me show you it'll come in a second but again look she just cut the half of that film strip, put a picture in. And she also used the die to cut out the picture, which is the same as I did. And that sort of, it fits in there perfectly. Gives a really nice effect. She did that here as well. You can see that here at the bottom. You see there's a little knock, knocks and crannies all around and it fits in there perfectly. Gorgeous. <laughs> he doesn't look up here. Oh, he's just yawning. Okay. Then it's fine. There's a lot of cats. Look how fun. Pocket. And then this one fits in there perfectly. This is the one I was talking about. Look at that. I open it and... There we go. Look at that. That's so smart. It's like a pop-up element in your journal. I love this. You must explain to me how you did that, Daria. I am just in awe. Cheesecloth. This is true Daria style. Look at that glimmer, shine stuff. Don't know what it is, Daria, but I love it. It's really cool. Okay, that's that one. Then we've got, ooh, look at that. A brick wall, happy stories, and joy, but who is it from? Ah, Heather. This one's coming from the States as well. Um, so it's made a long journey. So I'm double happy it's here. Um, oh, hey, Yildiz, I haven't seen you yet. Good to see you. Um, yeah, the color shift is nice. But now, this one, look at that. Brick wall, done with an embossing folder, and then we've got wax on it. The stencil here. Gorgeous. She used a lot of pictures in here. And I always go to black for a matte layer, but look how much fun it is when you do a pink back matte layer. Completely different feel, different look and feel. And look at her smiley face. So this is what I love. You've got the journals here uh, with pictures. Um, this should not be there. That's what I put in there. <laughs> um, so you've got a picture here, a picture here on a matte layer. So you have to flap, matte layer, picture. So again, use them in your journal like she did here as well. So versatile. Nice little pocket, but put it at the bottom again with a picture. Some journal cards in there. Making memories. And that is what this is all about. Making memories. 
We don't remember days, we remember moments. So make sure you make moments to remember. One of my uh, great inspirations in life, that was his saying, and I took that to heart. And you see, with different colors, it's a completely different background paper. So that's what I love about this paper. Um, gorgeous. Well, that's the thing, Joe, but if I go too slow, then everybody will be falling asleep at the end of the evening because then it will be like late here in the Netherlands before I'm finished. Um, but you can always go back and they will all post their gorgeous work in all our socials. So if you go to the family page or the Art Journal Specials um, group on Facebook, can somebody post a link here from the Art Journal Specials Facebook group? That would help. And then we, you can follow everybody there and they post the gorgeous makes there. So. This was a cool day, I can imagine. And here she did a flap on the side as well. You see, gorgeous. So did that. And she stamped every day an adventure onto that strip. Smart thinking lady. So even more photos. So you see how much fun it is if you make a little photo album. Thank you, Ingrid. If you make a little photo album in the art journal, this is, this is what I had in mind when I designed this. Um, yes, it's an art journal, but you can, you, you can do this as well. Fun little album. And how much fun is it to give, make, make an album like this as a gift uh, to people that are dear to your heart? So yeah, that's, I think it's important to share the memories you make together as well. One more to go, two more to go. But yeah, this is gorgeous as well. And she also made the little shrinky dinkies. See that? Out of the shrink plastic. Gorgeous. Now, whose is this one? I don't know. Ah, I know. Martina. <laughs> I recognize this one. So, Martina. She made that passport. You saw that online already, right? Look at that. It, it does look like an original old passport. And she used the ATC stamp there. All gold embossing powder. Look at that. This looks real, right? This, I just think this is brilliant. I love it. I love it. Looks like my passport with all the stamps in. Gorgeous. This one's full, so you need a new passport. <laughs> the design team did an amazing job. Absolutely. So, gorgeous as well. Look at the all the stitched borders as well. That's something I don't do. All embossed these strips. Gorgeous. It's so it's different colors, but it's still unity because of the way she did it. And I love that. Look at all the background stamping. Gorgeous work, Martina. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Fantastic job. A little envelope. All through the journal, the little letters from the wonky set, wonky stamp set. I love this, the see-through elements. This is just, look at that. Sorry, we'll take away the glare. These flowers from the previous release. And Loving it. And here she made a little waterfall. Stunning. Love that, Martina. Absolutely love it. I don't have a favorite one so far because I love each and every one of them. Um, exactly. Great idea, Debbie. Um, so yeah, the team blew it out of the park, right? And then, um, because Jose was getting married, and Jose already after her wedding made gorgeous samples, uh, but um, because uh, Jose had to get married, well, not had to, sorry, wanted to get married, uh, and she had a beautiful day, but of course, you know, a wedding takes time. So we asked a guest design team member, um, and that guest design team member was Susan Smith. 
And Susan, uh, we know her from the flower team, but if you see what she made, well, my team is full. So, but yeah, she did a fantastic job. Look at this. This is just like four layers of paper glued together and then uh, made with that gold, use the word journal, loving it. So yeah, Susan made a fantastic sample book with the Art Journal Specials for her first time working with the Art Journal Specials. Oh Ingrid, not as proud as I am, let me tell you. But look at that. First time working with Art Journal Specials and this just goes to show, just go and play. Look at that. And of course there had to be little flowers in there because she's the queen of flowers in the Netherlands. She's teaching classes, etc. But yeah, this is fantastic. Loving what I'm seeing. Little envelope with vellum see-through. So definitely you can see all the different possibilities in there. And she used some planner stamps here as well. This is stuck, so I will not ruin it. I don't know why it's stuck, but... Look at that. This stamp is also gorgeous. If you stamp it out like that, I'm going to steal that idea. Loving that. There's so much inspiration. It's literally inspiration overload, right? Don't you agree, guys? It is fantastic. Look at that. I love white on craft. Loving that. Yeah, Susan, you did great. There's loads in here, so let me... How do you do that? Oh, it's a fault. Flappy thingy. Look at that. Gorgeous. And some coins in there. Absolutely stunning. And then there's another signature. Wow, Susan, you did a lot of work. Look, oh, this is fun as well. She stitched them together and then put little dangles on. Gorgeous, look at this. Flip flaps, love that. Well, this is a fun photo album ready to happen. I make journal notes in it. Gorgeous work. Right, that was it guys, that was all the samples. And I am so extremely proud of what they did. Um, yeah, so let me quickly take you through the whole collection again. I won't take as long as in the beginning. I will just sum it up. Now it sort of makes more sense to you probably because you've seen it all, so let me zoom out. There we go. Um, coffee dyed paper pack. I love this coffee dye paper pack and I think you will love it too. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Then we've got the stencils that you saw used throughout the whole journal. We've got the words. That's a definite favorite from the design team as well. I could see the dots, the sun ray and the squares all used in the gorgeous samples you saw. So that's that one. Then we've got the dies. So first of all, brand new in the Art Journal collection, we didn't have that before, is the journal sleeves. Journal sleeves uh, are these pockets with a glue strip that you can glue in your journal, put photos in, put artwork in, gorgeous. They go together with the journal sleeve fillers one. That's that one. Then we've got the Remember set, which has a page in for the Square XL and some fun elements, fun little plane, photo camera, a closed pocket, love that. Then we've got Romance. Romance is um, an open pocket with a beautiful doily on it. A tag in there, the page, base page for the um, passport size, different circles that also fit onto your ATC coins. I love this set as well. Uh, speaking of ATC, we've got the classic ATC set in this collection as well with a nice little envelope, matte layers, you can play on, you can build upon that gorgeous stuff. Then we've got the Around the World stamp and die set. So you get all these fun little stamps, including the dies on the back, which I think is brilliant. 
Then we've got the classic ATC stamps to go with your ATC set. Already a popular one. You see it stamped out. Loving that. I always stamp it out because then I have a better feeling of how it looks. Um, this gorgeous background stamp, you saw this one uh, used many times throughout the samples. The passport stamps, I think a must have. If you want to make it anything about travel, these passport stamps, as are these travel phrases, uh, really a must have. And the wonky letters is the last one I'm going to show you. And that's the last one in the set. So this is the whole new collection. This is the Remember Moments collection and it's out now, it's out and about. It's available at elizabethcraftdesigns.com and .eu and of course at your local retailer. So uh, I hope you love it as much as we love it. Um, it's always a bit nerve wracking when a new collection comes out, like, oh, do you like it? Don't you like it? But I think from the response that I saw online and here today is that you do like it. So thank you so much. I love to see you for the next time, which is already this Friday. Uh, Friday I'm back and then I'm just going to play. And I'm going to show you some fun things you can do with this collection. Um, and just, just play. Have fun. It's Play Friday. So that's what we're going to do. See you then. And Michelle, I will see you physically next week. I will be flying next Wednesday. And then I will see you live. Um, and yeah. That was it. See you Friday. Thank you for joining me and I love to see you for the next one. And don't forget to like, share and comment. Thank you. Bye.